Good morning! North Carolina Prepper here. Today, we're going to make apple pie baked in apples. So this is something I found uh, a while back on the net. <clears throat> and if I can find the page again, I will, um, I will credit you, but I can't remember who the heck it was. But basically, um, it's apple pie, and instead of apple crust and pie plate, you're actually making it in the apple for dessert. So it's a pretty good deal. It's kind of like baked apple with baked apple and apple baked inside the apple. So there we go. So let's get to this, shall we? <clears throat> um, first thing I'm going to do is I'll make sure all the apples can stand up on their own. I can see one right now that ain't going to make it, which will be turned into filling. But basically I'm going to take the apple, I'm going to cut the top off it, you know, a little bit, just right across here basically. I'm going to hollow it out like a pumpkin. Now we're going to fill it up with apple and put a lattice work on top of pie crust. Um, you can make your own. I bought some sheets, but we'll go into that. <clears throat> um, let's, let's get into it. Let me go ahead and find the ones that will stand up on their own. Looks like I'm going to get three out of this batch. And I'll cut the top off and I'm going to hollow it out. If I don't, you, There's things you could use like a melon ball or something. I don't have anything. So I'm going to use a good old spoon here. We're going to use that. And... Uh, we're going to hollow that thing out and then I'll roll out the dough and uh, put a lattice work and do that. But let me just go ahead and get started on this. And let me just go ahead and do one and then I'll repeat the other ones off camera. So let me go ahead and cut that and, and get the insides out, scoop it out. I'll, I'll be right back. Okay, I went ahead and hollowed this out as best I could. I made sure not to break the apple. Um, if you do break the skin or the peel, you can go ahead and take and. Uh, just line a little bit of dough around the inside to seal it back up when you cook it. I went ahead and dumped everything in water so it doesn't turn brown. And I'll use that as my filling. I'll just, you know, I'll just scoop it out like this. Give much my filling out for the second part. But I'm going to go ahead and put this apple in water now so it doesn't turn all uh, brown. Or fill it up. It's not going to turn anyway. But I'm going to go do that. And then I'll, I'll make my filling and we'll go to the next part. Right back. Okay, I went ahead and uh, I had a little fruit fresh to the water because I didn't want anything turning brown. But I went ahead and, you know, I got these guys out, haul it out. Careful not to break the, the seal or the skin. So let me go ahead and do that and I'll filter out. Um, I'll pull these out and I'll filter out all this stuff here into another bowl. And then I'll begin making my apple filling. So let me get ready to that, get everything set up for that, and we'll go ahead and do that real quick. As you can see, pretty much all the seeds just went down to the bottom of the bowl, so they won't be included in our apple filling. So, I just want to point that out real quick. Okay. To make our uh, our uh, filling, we've got one quarter cup sugar, one tablespoon of uh, brown sugar, and one teaspoon of cinnamon. I'm going to go ahead and mix this in the food processor. Uh, this is really too hard to chop up by hand. And if I need to add extra apple, I will for filling, but probably not. So let me get back to you after I'm done with that. I'll be right back and I'll add all that together and mix it up for you. Alright, I went ahead and chopped that up in the food processor pretty good. Now we're going to add our quarter cup of sugar. We're going to add our tablespoon of brown sugar. Now we're going to add our teaspoon or so of, of um, whatever it is. I slipped my mind. I can't think of what it's called. Cinnamon. Cinnamon. So let me get this all mixed up in a good gooey mess. I'll be right back. Alright, we got our, our filling mixed up now. That's good. So we're going to go ahead and spoon that into the uh, apples over here. So let me reposition the camera. Okay. So I'll make my spoon. We'll go ahead and fill that apple up with our fillingly goodness. Okay. And let me do the rest and I'll be right back. Alright, we're back. Now what you want to do 
is you want to take your dough you've you completely made by yourself by scratch with no store bought ingredient whatsoever. That's what I'm telling the wife. Okay. And you want to take and actually cut it though, seriously, into quarter inch strips. Or whatever you feel, you know, it doesn't really matter. This is gonna be the lattice work for the top of the apples. So let's go ahead and do this. And um Let's see where we stand with that. Okay, a little more. Now remember, if you had actually punctured your um, your apple while you're doing this, you could have lined the apple with this for extra crust inside the apple, or as a, a repair for the holes. So a little bit more here. Then I'll cut this in the lattice. Let me get one, and we'll see how it works. Right back. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and. Try to roll the lattice here if we have any chance of it. It's not looking good. So, yeah, quarter inch would have really been the right way to go here. Yeah, it's good enough. Spread that out. So, now we got to fold this back. So we can draw a lattice. So I'll go ahead and do that off camera because this is going to take a while for me to do. Alright, the oven's been preheated to 375 degrees. I'm going to add a tin foil on top of this. Add just a little bit of water on the bottom, just enough to, to um, uh, what should I call it? Just to cover the bottom of the pan. This will help steam it and keep everything moist in there. Some people cook this in a brown paper bag. I've never done that, but I hear it works well. So we're gonna bake it 20 to 25 minutes, and we're gonna we're gonna use it with a uh, tin foil over it, and then after that we're gonna bake for additional 20 minutes or until our crust turns golden brown, and the apples are very soft. All right, so I'll be back after that part. Okay, there's the finished product. Mmm, yummy, yummy. They smell really good. Um, it's browned, not too brown, but it's browned enough. I didn't want the apples to explode because they were kind of thick, so I wanted to worry. I didn't want to worry about that because the skin will tend to tear away if they're too thick. But they're soft and good to go. So there you go. This is a apple pie inside an apple, I guess. All right, that's my kind of pepper. Um, please rate and subscribe.